Hello guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this video, we are going to see how we can remote debug ASP.NET Core web app which is deployed into Azure App Service with Visual Studio. Let's start. For this demo, we are inside Azure portal and inside resource group. In earlier video, we have created multiple resources and one resource is we have one web app where we have enabled slotting also. And in this video, we are going to see if you want to debug any application which is deployed inside Azure, then how you can debug that one from your Visual Studio which is installed locally. So for that, let's go inside our this test web slot and if we browse that one this is our new functionality and if you see our code is that code which we deployed and now let's go and enable settings so that we can see that how debug works so this test web app was deployed using release configuration in visual studio so first i will enable all the settings and then we can see that if we are able to hit the debug point or not and then we will deploy one more time with debug uh, settings and then we can see so let's go to configuration tab we need to go to general setting we have to enable remote debugging but keep in mind that it is one of the feature we should enable when required and one as soon as we do that one we should disable so which remote visual studio version we are going to connect with so i have 2022 version so i am going to select 2022 and i am going to save this feature so once our setting is saved we can go to visual studio and inside visual studio we need to go to settings And inside setting, we have to disable this feature, enable just my code. So I'm going to uncheck that and click OK. And then I have to go inside debug and not start debugging. We have to say that attached to process. Now inside connection type, we have to select that Azure app services. And we have to select the connection target, which lets try to find that one and we can go and we can see where we have deployed our code so we can go to test where that last in last video we deployed our code and we can see that same version so right now it, it is displaying that one in that app service in this slot w3wpexe which is is worker process is running so we can go ahead and attach this uh, our visual studio with that process so let's let me attach it is loading all the symbol file which is into our local version and it should have been same version whatever you deployed that should be same version is present into your local that's how you can put the debug point another thing so once it is done right now and let me go to index.cstml. Let me put a debug point and I will put a debug point here that whenever this code will be hit, this page will be hit on the Jura app service. The coding will come and you can see that it is already loaded. So let's go ahead inside our this page. Uh, this is state slot where we have attached that one. I'm going to refresh this. Let's see what happens. So let me stop this one. Last time I deployed that code with release version. So let me go ahead and publish and I'm going to change this setting and I'm going to say that, hey, I want to deploy that code from uh, my debug configuration. So let me deploy that code. And if you see connection, this is in under test. We are going to deploy under test. So let me deploy that. Now let me once more attach that one to see what is happening.
Let me one more time refresh this page. Now it is waiting. And let's see that this code is being loaded or not. It is trying to load symbol right now. Still refreshing. Right now it is saying Visual Studio is with VG, but now we can see that our debug point has hit it. And we can see that, okay, whatever we are doing, uh, it is being hit here and it is coming here so that we can see that all the details are coming. Now let me deploy one more time by changing configuration to confirm that one it does not work into release mode. So I'm going to see that, save that, and I'm going to deploy that. Okay, so let's go again. And we can see that this changed after publish. So I'm going to put one more type debug point. Let me attach. Now let's go ahead and refresh this. It is not able to hit our debug point because when we deploy into release configuration the symbol file another file does not go inside azure to put the debug point in other details so now we can see if we deploy into release mode that we are not going to hit our debug point and this is what i wanted to cover in this video thank you Thank you.